Okay, we're going to figure out the exact value for cosine of 7 pi over 12. And you know, degrees are much better to work with, right? So let's go ahead and change this into degrees. So let's put down 7 pi over 12, and we multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. And let's do this real quick. First of all, pi and pi cancel, and you can use a calculator and can go ahead and say 7 times 180, and then divide it by 12. Whichever way that you want, right? You can also do this by hand. Cross cancel first, and you multiply. But anyway, at the end, you will end up with 105 degrees, like this. Therefore, this is the same as asking, what's cosine of 105 degrees? And now you know the deal. We have to think about what plus what will give us 105, or maybe what minus what will give us 105, right? And two of those angles, they have to be special angles that we know how to work with. Well, we do notice that 45 plus 60 is 105, right? In another word, I can break this down as cosine, and let's put on the 45 degrees first, and then plus 60 degrees, all right? And of course, if you switch the order, doesn't matter. Um, this is what we have at the moment, and we can use the angle sum formula for the cosine, right? Which is says this will be cosine of the first, which is cosine 45 degrees, times cosine of the second, which is the 60 degrees right here. And when you have the plus for the cosine, it's actually a minus in between, okay? So be careful with this. Minus sine of the first, which is the 45 degrees, times sine of the second, we have the 60 degrees right here. And now we just have to figure them out individually, right? And of course, we have to utilize the special triangle. Let me just draw this for you guys real quick. Let's look at the 45, 45, 90. So let's look at this one right here real quick. So this is 1, 1, square root 2. This is my right angle, right? And I also need to have the 60 degree angle. So let me just do this real quick for you guys. This is my 60 degrees, right? And then triangle right here. So that means the right angle, 1, and this is square root 3, and this is 2. Right. So now we'll see cosine of 45. Look at this triangle. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, 1 over square root 2. Namely, we can rationalize the denominator, and we'll end up square root of 2 over 2, right? Up here. Times cosine of 60. Look at this. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over 2. Right? And then minus sine of 45. Sine will be opposite over hypotenuse. 1 over square root of 2 is the same as square root of 2 over 2, right? So we can put that down right here. Square root of 2 over 2 times sine of 60, which is opposite over hypotenuse, square root of 3 over 2, right? So let's put that down like this. Okay, and as we can see, this times that is just square root of 2. Bottom, 2 times 2 is 4, and then minus 2 times 3, we can multiply those numbers inside, right? For the square root numbers, so altogether, it will be square root 6 over 2 times 2, which is 4. And at the end, we can combine the fractions, so altogether is 4 on the bottom, and then we will have square root 2 first, and then minus square root of 6. This is it.